Okay, so I've got a question from that we, we started to deal with in class today and uh, never got to it completely, and we called it at the time problem number five. Okay, so the, the, the question says it's a, a common way to make hydrogen gas in the laboratory is to place a metal such as zinc in hydrochloric acid. See the figure, the figure's right here. Zinc and hydrochloric acid. Uh, the HCl reacts with the metal to produce hydrogen gas, which is then collected over water. So the gas is here, hydrogen gas, and it's going in here, and it's collecting, being collected over water. Suppose a student carries out this reaction and collects a total of 150 mils of gas. All right, so back to here. Uh, actually, this, this student who sent me this one, it had 146.2 mils of gas, okay? So I'm going to say P, V, N, R, T. You've seen me do this before. The volume is 146.2 mils, which is equal to 0 0.1462 liters of gas at a pressure of 745 millimeters of mercury. 745 millimeters of mercury, which is equal to, come over here, to a separate part of my paper and say 745 millimeters of mercury. All right, so those will cross off. This is going to be 1 over 760, which is equal to, You should pause the video now at this point and predict what I'm going to say here. You should pause it at this point and predict what I'm going to say here. Okay, so I get 0 0.98026. I got five sig figs because I'm um, because I had four sig figs right here, right? So this is 0 0.98026 atmospheres, 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. If uh, in a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, 25 degrees Celsius, which is equal to Decimal points are there, so this is 298 Kelvins. Okay. And I know the PV is equal to NRT, and it's moles I need now, so N is going to equal PV over RT, which is going to equal 0 0.98026. I was very careful to get my units over here, so I'm not worried about or all these molecular units, right? So I'm not going to put my units in my solution. I normally would do that, but over here, it's just going to be too busy if I do it. Divided by 0 0.08206. We'd rather start from old Kevin, 298. Okay. Times, I still have this number in my calculator. 0.98026. Uh, so I'll have to put in my calculator again. Time 0.1462 divided by 0.082. Uh, I'm going to say 0 0.0821 because I think the students are using. Uh, let me come over here and say this. I think what your textbook gives you is only three sig figs, and I've got this four sig figs memorized, okay? So I'm going to put that number in there instead. Divided by 298. Oops. Oh, crud. Times 
times 0.1426 divided by 0 0.0821 divided by 298 gives me I'm sure that this makes any, this makes sense, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It's just black. Gives me 0 0.0057135 and so on. I've got uh, five sig figs here. Four sig figs here. Three sig figs here and three sig figs here. And so my answer is going to have three sig figs, which is here. It's going to give me 00571. And this is going to be in moles. Okay. Oh, I haven't reported my final answer yet. My final answer is actually supposed to be mass, right? What's the mass of, of hydrogen? So, sorry. I need to keep all those digits until I do the mass. But this is the moles. Now, I know that grams is equal to grams per mole times moles. Right, those will cross off, sure enough. So this is going to be moles times formula weight is equal to mass. And so mass is equal to 0 0.0057135 and so on. Right, times my formula weight. This is the formula weight of what? Hydrogen gas, okay? So the formula weight of hydrogen gas is equal to 2 times 1.008, or whatever your, um, your periodic table has that you're using, okay? So this is going to give me about, you know, not about exactly 2.016. So I'm going to take my this number and say it's 2.016 and the mass is going to be times 2.016 just a moment please 0 oops 0 0.011518 I'm going to get the door while you look at that it turns out that that is it turns out that that is in grams because we carefully set that up to be grams and uh, now we have to report this in the right number of sig figs. Um, unless it says, oh, it says in milligrams. Aha, there's the other difference, okay? It's supposed to give the answer in milligrams. So then this is in grams. So milligrams is going to be multi one, two, three, 11.518 milligrams. And now I've got to say three sig figs. And so my three sig figs is going to be 11.5 milligrams. All right, so that's my answer. I'm pretty sure that you guys, um, the one who asked the question already understands this. But I do want to encourage you to, um, to call me or text me or email me uh, in case that, that is not super clear. Actually, before you do that, you should go back and watch the video again if it's not clear. Because I think this is, I, I took a fairly real uh, linear uh, path to the solution. So, okay. Best wishes. Hope that's helpful.